to set up different features you go to settings and you will see a lot of features here they're not so complicated every camera has a access code you can change it here the standard code is provided in the instructions then you have alarm settings uh, you can choose which part of the screen the camera should be analyzing for any motion detection or human det human movement you can choose the left area all area right area and the level of sensitivity i put it 100 percent and the motion detection you can turn it off but if you use camera only when someone is moving in front of it you have to turn it on then there's a humanoid alarm which analyzes humans and the alarm trigger says you need to use the linkage trigger so that different algorithms work together for better performance next one is action with alarm you can send alarm notifications which means you will get messages to your phone saying hey there is a movement check your camera then you can choose alarm sd record when the camera detects movement of people it starts recording videos to the camera's sd card then email alarm with pictures turn it on and set up your email account via the application and you will get pictures via email anytime the camera sees any detects any motion and humans you can save pictures to ftp server this is for people with more technical knowledge i have a dedicated server and i have my ftp server and i checked this feature and it works and you can use save videos to ftp server i haven't chosen to do that because i don't want to jeopardize the connection of my camera and want to make sure that data comes to my account and i just use pictures and what else the picture number number of pictures i chose three so that the camera can make several shots during uh, the time of detecting motion of humans and it's constantly sending pictures when it's detecting anything and then you can set up alarm ringing linkage which means that when the camera detects someone it will make sound an alarm sound very disturbing one so that if you want to tell people that you shouldn't be there you can turn it on then you can set up recording schedules you can set up uh, duration of files because it's saving files of you can set up if save files of one minute two minutes three minutes it's a good idea to make them shorter so that if something happens to the camera you at least have the files saved up to that moment i choose three minutes and there are two stream settings you can have a one stream with very high quality picture and the second stream recording at low quality the recording schedule means uh, you can have the camera recording all days if you choose none it will record only when there is an alarm if you choose as all days it will record all the days and the moments the alarm is firing and the video setting is about setting the quality of pictures you can set the bit rates frame rates i've chosen six frames per second to have smaller files and uh, with six frames you, you still get the feeling of the movement of people the quality image is the highest one and the second stream you can set up lower quality wi-fi settings wi-fi manager doesn't work you should set up your wi-fi settings via the ip address i showed you earlier via the camera's interface sd card settings you can format your sd card if you think you don't you don't need those pictures and videos recorded you can just format it time settings you set up your time zone so that the times appears on your recording the correct time and then comes email settings and ftp settings this is how the email setup looks like for each email provider you may have different setups for hotmail this one is smtp which is used mostly by all providers and then comes the 
personalized one dot if it's hotmail live.com server port usually is 25 encrypt inc encrypt type is usually start tls but it may differ according to the provider then you use your username of your email then your password and you send it to yourself using your email address again and the sender is also your email address because you connect to your domain email domain and sending the email to yourself and then you can push test and find out if it works or not this part is for more advanced users if you have a ftp domain of, or your own server you can set up this app to send images and videos to your ftp server for that you will need to enter your ip address of your server then the server port is usually 21 your username password and depending on the settings use password mode passive mode or not and this is really easy a few settings and you push the test settings and it works in my case it worked the application works fine i use it to send pictures just in case because for example hotmail can have filters if the email fails at least i will have a second choice and have it saved on my ftp server next setting is the system settings be careful with this because you can reboot camera it will not affect anything but if you reset camera then you will reset all your settings and if you do that while you're outside of your house you will not be able to set the camera again don't reset your camera if you're not close to your camera also reset button is here on the uh, with this cable is a reset button you open this cap push the button keep it then you hear the sound and it means that the camera is reset if something goes wrong you just can reset your camera the camera will reset to the default values if you forget the password of the camera or the password of the wi-fi everything will be reset let me show you now how the camera will behave if i use different alarm settings let's say i set it up for alarm notifications now it will see me I'll have to do some movement and it will send me some notifications now we have the camera on you will see a person passing by and you will see that the camera will send me via internet a notification to my phone and you will see that it will be capturing a frame of a person and the night vision as well so this was the alarm notification i turn it off i can just turn on the these options and then the camera will send me images or videos or will record those moments when someone passes by when the videos or pictures are set up to record to the SD card from these options you can go and check the videos and pictures so now it's empty but you can go and check if they are in there and then download them to your phone